computer. Alvin, Alvin, you uh, you've seen Luke. Luke is in Stony Plain too, so he's a local guy with us here, man. Awesome. Okay. Hey, Alvin. I'm just trying to pull up uh, everybody's picture here. Are okay. you trying to get a cool background going as well? It's okay. <laughs> I can't figure it out either. No. <laughs> awesome. So last week. Um, we were just chatting about just kind of more of like an update seeing where you guys were all at, what you needed help with. Um, I mentioned this week we were going to talk about uh, or bringing up doing a live presentation inside the global freedom movement. Alvin, are you inside of that free group as well? Is he in there? No, he's not. He's, he's okay, we'll, we'll get him in there because this whole the whole meeting will be kind of about um, doing a live. We're going to do a live presentation and I got some slides here. I'm going to go through with you guys and then um we'll get some feedback we can add some stuff in we can switch some things around i'd like to get everybody's input on this but i'm excited for it because we've there's been quite a few people inside global prosperity movement Bellage's like entire team that have been doing um these live presentations in groups and um the last girl that did one she did she's now at 120 she did 120,000. It was at 100, but she closed $120,000 in commissions, not in sales, wow. in commissions um, by doing these presentations. So if we can get these dialed in uh, and bringing people into these presentations live where we can have energy, um, testimonials, just, you know, um, bringing engagement and stuff in there, we can get those kind of results to you just by bringing them into live. Because it's something that's so simple that people can go to, right? Like it's so simple. They don't have to go through this big, massive process. They can just um, tune in from wherever they're at um, and be around a bunch of people that are either already in the business or people that are being introduced to the business and the water um, that really get that energy. And uh, when me and Lindsay were at the Cabo yeah. event, whatever that was back in November, there was a guy there named Matthew Jang. I think you guys, or some of you might know him. He's a 6A2-6, 6A something-6 dash or something. His very first week in the business, he did a live presentation and he went 6A at the end of the night of that presentation. So um, like I said, if we can get these dialed in, we can do pretty good with them. So um you guys have any questions? I'm going to try to do a screen share here while I figure out my buttons here. But they did, but it slipped away. Your question? Yeah. Yeah, just feel free to, if you, anything comes out, just chime in at any point. I'll just dive into it so then we can kind of play around with it a bit. I just got to try to move my screen a bit. So let's try to full screen. Um. Can we put it into presenter mode? Let's try this present. So obviously we'll change this is just the headline we've been using inside of the Facebook group. So Alvin, um, we have another Facebook group that's more like just for our team that yeah. is um, global freedom movement where we have um, like a series of videos that educate people on the water, on um, the compensation plan on tax savings, on how to automate your business so that well, you're running ads and it's going out to people that are interested in what you have to offer. Um, all of that kind of stuff is there. And then we also have all the basic training to getting your Facebook business page set up, um, business manager, ads manager, running ads, different types of ads. So all of that stuff is in there and it's free for everybody inside of the group or anyone coming in that's interested in the business. It's um, I think it's an incredible tool for anybody just getting started out. So you don't have to go advanced into an extra platform, not to say you don't have to, you absolutely can. Most of us are all inside another platform running more automation, but this is a cool tool that you can even just run um, ads to this group and get sales uh, that way. So um, just a quick recap on that. So um, I, how many of you guys have seen Oh my gosh. Can you guys see all of this or is the picture? Yeah. You guys can. I'm going to try to minimize it so I can see it all because I, all I see is all of you guys. Um, so I have a, a webinar that I have been using for the past however many months now. Three months? What's that? 
Since Cavill, you created it like right after Cavill. <clears throat> Yeah. So anyways, some of the slides are going to be a little bit similar, um, kind of just introducing people into just like the thought of not having to trade their time for money. So these people are already inside of this global freedom movement group. There's a good chance they already know about Enagic if they've gone through any of the videos. Um, but just really starting it fresh to really paint that picture of imagine not trading your time for money. And then how you can actually do that and how people actually are able to leverage systems, strategies, and all of that. Um, we're like, do a, a recap about who here's read Rich Dad, Poor Dad? Yeah. Probably everybody, I'm guessing. Um, right, the, the cash flow quadrant of either being an employee, self-employed, business owner, or investor, like employees, self-employed, will only ever be able to trade their time for money and there's only so much time we can ever trade um so there's only ever so much money we could ever make getting over to the other side as like a business owner is where we have systems or people um working on our behalf so that we're not trading then our time for money we're leveraging people and systems to to be able to generate income and then obviously with like investors so yeah like educating on that like i'm not here to do like a full presentation for you guys because you guys are already in the business um, so just really painting that picture for people. And like I said, um, if you guys have any suggestions, I'll give you guys the slides. So you, if anyone wants to play around with anything, absolutely. Um, so yeah, would you rather trade your time for money or leverage systems that work for you? Probably a no brainer for most people. Um, and then what we would, I like talking about the easiest way to become a business owner, right? Like we go back to the slide, like a business owner for the, like, most people will think of someone who's literally going and starting a business, a construction business, a restaurant, whatever. All of those businesses require money up front. Like, Steve, did you have to put invest a lot of money into starting your construction contracting business? Tools, yeah. hire, like, all of that kind of stuff, right? Um, just, you know, educating people on that, like the typical brick and mortar business it's going to cost you anywhere from say 50,000 and up to really get started. And really in the first few years, you're not really making a lot of money. You're trying to, you know, uh, get the money back that you've invested. So the easiest way to get over to the other side of the cash flow, cash flow quadrant is to be able to become a business owner with um, little to no startup. And the main one that most people go to is low ticket. Very few people have heard of high ticket. So really just showing the contrast of the difference um, with low ticket. Obviously, you guys, right, we all know the difference. You only make very little. That's why it's called low ticket. All the different aspects of that. Again, I don't want to do a whole presentation for you guys here, but... Um, and then I, diving right into the high ticket offer, basically, like... So talking about why we why high ticket so much better than low ticket, the easiest entry to becoming a business owner, choosing the right high ticket offer, going through all the check marks of what what Enagic offers, um, why we partnered with Enagic, why like reiterating all that it has. I'm not sure if that blocks you guys from seeing it all. If you can't see it, let me know. That kind of stuff. I would like to maybe get a little bit more in depth with the water here. So if you guys are open to any suggestions on this, but from this point, it basically just flows into now automating the process. So I think there could be a good spot here where maybe we do have pull some people out about testimonials, um, how the water's impacted their life, their family's life, friend's life, keeping it compliant, obviously, with a magic. Um, but I think that would be a great spot to even like really just kind of have that community support of what the water's done for you. And then just like letting people know too, like you, if you're not a salesperson, that doesn't mean you can't do this business. If you love the water and you love this concept, know that there are systems that you can leverage um, in the online space where basically we can automate that process and get uh, our, get this offer in front of people that are looking for what we have to offer and then showing them that we run an ad, we send them a link um, or we can send them right into this group. Uh, we make a sale, we get paid. We get paid anywhere from 300 to 4,000 plus, which it's more than that now. That's the one number I do have to update. 
Um, so really just diving into that, this is how I built my entire business. My entire business has been built through running ads. Um, bringing in, this is the Canadian compensation plan. So I, like, I know we had a meeting on this uh, a couple months back when the, the price went up, just going over like what you can make now, um, going, diving into how to make your $10,000, how to get to the point where you're making 10,000 plus consistently a month. Um, again, we won't dive super major into this, but really getting people hyped up of like that roadmap where they can start seeing like, Hey, like if I were to, you know, get my first 13 sales, that's $10,000. But then the next time around, um, it's a little bit less. And if I go with a trifecta, where again, we can maybe throw a slide in about the trifecta. Um, I don't know if it's really necessary. We can get people uh, to watch the videos to learn a little bit more. I think the numbers will sell itself and then we can explain it further. But then like showing them if they were to do a trifecta that then they only need to do, um, how many sales was it? Six sales? Choosing yeah. the stack. Yeah. Six sales to get to $11,000 right from the beginning and then getting to a place where um, if you do the trifecta, you really only need to make two sales a month to be making $9,840. That's pretty close to $10,000. Um, but right again, like really painting that picture for people because like when people have a roadmap, when I first started this business, I didn't know anything about the compensation plan. I just thought you made $340 every time you made a sale. I had no, I, like, I know it went up and everything, but I had no idea how any of that works. So really breaking it down, what kind of work do you need to put in to do that? How can you achieve it? How can you set your goals to actually achieve it? Um, I think it was really powerful. And then diving right into get your products paid with your income tax. So, right, how we all know CRA, IRS, they allow you as a new business owner to claim three years of losses. So even if somebody at the end of the day just wanted these products, the trifecta um, or the K-8 or whatever, um, they can still reap the rewards legally by the government, uh, reap the rewards of basic tax write-offs. So then we're going to dive into that. So what that looks like, how they can actually purchase these products with the money they would have given to the government. Who wants to give money to the government, right? Um, right. How much money are you giving to the government? We're going to show them exactly how to do it. They can go to this website. I'll make these slide the stuff smaller. I realize they're super big. Um, British Columbia, we use as an example, just because we have the compensation plan in Canada. I'm originally from BC, so we're using that one. Um, so on that site is going to give you like a real general idea of an average person will use $50,000, right? Average person that makes $50,000 a year pays about $12,770 in taxes every single year. Um, we're going to show them if with basic expenses, not writing off anything additional, like marketing, like, like we show like the Facebook ads, if you're running a Facebook ad for five, $10 a day, that's a hundred percent tax write off. Um, and you're generating basically sales through that. But if they're just using the basic, right. Um, tax write offs that everybody has access to when they become a business owner. Um, and I use this at the the lowest formula possible. This would actually, like if we were doing this with a, an accountant, it would be a lot higher, but we're using a 20% formula for personal expenses. Some of this stuff can be more, um, a higher percentage, but I just kept it basic because for the example, if somebody decided to not even do any sales, they would still get the product um, paid for. Um, so in the first year, say your rent or mortgage was $1,500, blah, blah, blah. Okay, anyways, I won't go into this. I'm doing it as if it was a presentation. Anyways, uh, it would total out, including if they purchased a trifecta. So this is the new price of a trifecta with the taxes in British Columbia, $11,442.60. So it's more, obviously, because the price just went up. Um so with their basic write-offs and the trifecta writing it off, they that would be $18,882. Um, typing that now into the tax calculator thingamajig, 
that now brings their annual taxes down with their write-offs to $7,539. So they end up saving $5,231 in basic tax savings in their very first year of this business, getting almost half of their payment, uh, half of their purchase back right in the first year. And that's just the basic stuff. Um, and then we can go into talking about all the other stuff you can write off. I'm going through my taxes right now, and it's actually really exciting to see all of the ridiculous stuff that we're allowed to write off, like pretty much everything from driving all the way to the Baja Disneyland because we went, I ran ads with Disneyland in the background. That's all a tax write off. Our trip to Disney or to California to a Nagic, um, right? Every like pretty much anything you can think of that if you're incorporating it in your business, it becomes a tax write-off. So um, talking about that and then kind of just giving people an option. So what do you want to do? And just saying, what do you want to get started with today? A K-8 or a trifecta? Drop a one for a K-8, drop a two for a trifecta. And the person who brought you into this group will help you um, take the next step in uh, making that possible for you, right? And then we'll give them the options for financing. Obviously not in the presentation, but um, or we could, what do you guys think? Yeah, good. Okay. I think that's what, like having the lives in the group is just going to build the momentum and the excitement and draw the people in. I see a lot of new people coming in, yeah. like stacking in there. That's probably from a lot of your new people, which is awesome. Well, I've brought a quite a few people from Cabo in recently mm. and they're bringing people just into the group and they're getting really amazing results with it so awesome um i don't see any of them on here right now but they can replay um yeah and this is something like we can continuously do every month or every two weeks depending on what kind of traction we get from it i think once a month is a cool thing just to do a live one where you have people that are interested that maybe even have brought into the group and they haven't done much or you've talked about it and like, hey, we have this like live training. Um, all Because basically this presentation is all those videos compiled into one. I took out a ton of slides, but like the, the basics of, I think that would really entice somebody to want to um, move forward with the business. So, yeah. Anything the only thing is uh, I see is I think like you should almost put it back to U.S. dollar because us Canadians are really used to like mentally converting it, but like the U.S. like they have no idea like what our dollar is. How do I stop share? Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Have... That's all. Well, that's what I was just thinking. Just because U.S. is kind of like more the international kind of people kind of know what it is. Well, that's the mm -hmm. kind of the cool thing too, is a lot of us are Canadian. Who's Canadian? Everyone yes. is Canadian. Uh, There's so much information yes. on the compensation plan. It's always in US. That may, yeah. would set us apart of just having the new Canadian compensation plan. Um, most people in the US can understand, like, so it's $50 less a point in the US right now with the new commissions. Um, yeah, like I'm open to it, but I also just don't want to confuse people with too many different numbers. So that's why I listed like Canada, a BC example of taxes, taxes all around are relatively similar, even in the United States. So it's just giving the idea. Um, like we definitely could use US, but I think if we throw in too many different number scenarios, it's kind of going to yeah. on the, the presentation, but not saying we can't it's a conversion you can do for your people too pretty easily right yeah once, once they're interested like if you were to type in a nagic compensation plan in google right now it would all be in u.s yeah oh, there's nothing that comes up in canada so for that we have that for people and um the fact that we're all canadian for the most part like not the the entire team's not all canadian but yeah you know what i mean Mm -hmm. switching it up it's all in the back office too yeah everything's very specific to the united states so what we can kind of 
you know, make it a little bit more tailored to the Canadians that gives us an upper edge, makes us a little bit more relatable too. Cause I think most people that we're all going to be bringing in, um, are Canadian or in us, they just don't care. They don't care. It's not a big difference. It's the general idea, but any thoughts on things that you think should be added, taken out too much info, not enough info. Um, cause I think this could be big. I think we could do really well with it. Oh, I like the idea of the testimonials. I think they're powerful, right? Absolutely. Like we want to have community interaction in there for sure. And at the beginning, just like bringing that up. Um, I think we could maybe have another slide, but if we are having like a quick, like couple minute testimonial from each person or like a few people, I think that's probably pretty good too. I love the one where they do it in uh, Build Your Empire, where they're just doing like, they ask kind of like the one question and then they get like five people to answer like the first set. And then they're always switching it up because it kind of holds your attention, like going back, even if we all did a similar thing, like answered one question and then cut it into like the same little video verb, like of testimonials, you know what I mean? But this is going to be live though. Like, you're, are you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm just saying, like, for testimonials, right? Into yeah. the group, right? Okay. Not necessarily the live thing. I was just saying in general. Oh, okay. But for like the actual presentation, like, mm. I think if we kind of chatted about it first, like, hey, just try to keep it under a minute and 30 seconds or something or two minutes, have a few people talk about it and then dive further. We just, the thing is people's attention spans. We got to think, be, always be mindful. Like we want to provide super valuable information, but. Fast. Um, well, yeah, get the, get them as uh, the information they need in the quickest time possible. What are you thinking? How about you, big Steve? What are you thinking? It was awesome. I really like it. Can you hear me okay? Well, I can hear the wind from the beach. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, unplug, unplug that thing. Great. Is that better? Yeah, I forgot to tell you, Stephen. I went down south today in the Caribbean, though. <laughs> See, Lindsay and I are in the same place. We're just different sizes. That's right. Of the like, Getting yeah. our vitamin D. Totally. Right. So, can, can you hear me a little better now? I have a fan running that keeps the computer cool down there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can hear you now. I think it's awesome. I like. I really like what you've done there. Perfect. Um, did you say you've been using it, or that's brand new? Because I kind of missed the start of it. So this is brand new, but inside the Facebook group that we created, there's a series of videos that have almost all of those mm -hmm. slides, but it's they're all broken up so that people can watch them in a series of videos. I do have a training that does have some of that stuff, but it doesn't dive into the taxes. It doesn't dive into that 10K strategy of how to make your 10K consistently every single month or whatever you want to make. Um, this is all brand new, combining it all together. I just think it's the most powerful information of the business, of all of the, the selling features compiled into one. And um, yeah, so it's new. I think it's I think it's very well done. I think it's awesome. Just to let you know, I've been watching a Grant Cardone uh, presentation all day today, a little bit yesterday too, and they talk about this very thing about oh, doing perfect. online videos and how you know how productive that is for them and their business and lots of businesses. So I, I do. I think it's awesome. And I don't believe in recreating. We like if it's been, if it's working, whatever's working for you. I just want to duplicate it. Yeah, I, awesome. You know, I'm to you know recreate the wheel here. I, Absolutely. Well, there's was a time uh, that everyone was overcomplicating. I think the online space, and this is almost mm -hmm. bringing it back to basics, because there's so much. I've had a lot of frustration with beating around the bush and hiding, like in the like when you're running ads and stuff like that. A lot of the times, we're always taught like personal brand, personal brand, personal brand. Don't bring up the magic or whatever. But the thing is, like. There's people that are looking for a Nagic that may not care so much about building a personal brand and running automation online. So being transparent in that sense where you can literally just bring them into a group because the girl down the street from me that has been in low ticket for six years, that's she makes 10K every month with her low ticket business, but she hustles 24 seven. 
And she's brought in a couple people now with a Nagic and she made, she's going to be probably closing out $10,000 this month. And that's with like five people. And she's like, what the hell? Mm -hmm. Um, And she's just bringing them into the group. She's not in any platform, just into the group, just kind of teeing them up to bring them in. And I think she's like, this is so simple. It's like, oh my gosh, just to see from somebody on the outside looking in of how hard they've worked to build a business similar to this that pays out a lot less. She's like, this is crazy how simple it is. Um, so that's pretty cool feedback as well. It is cool feedback. And she's doing that right from there in Cabo also? Yeah, she lives right down the road from me. I, I love it that you're doing it all online. And you're not, you know, you can do this all online. I love that. Like I know, Stephen, you go out and do water shares and whatnot. I'm not opposed to doing that, but I would much rather set up this thing so it's automated. Yeah. And do it strictly online. Um, yeah, like there's the there's no wrong approach. It's a matter of giving people options of like what's best for them. There's like, that's the cool thing about this business is there's so many different ways to build it. And um, there's so many mentors too within the communities that you just find what kind of works best for you. And if that like um, automation aligns with you, do it. If doing water shares is easy and flows easily for you, do it, right? Um, bringing people into the group, having them run through the videos is easy for you, do that. Like whatever, just whatever gets you the results and keeps the business fun. Like the business should be fun. It shouldn't be a chore. So yeah, I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be big. We have, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. I forgot to ask you, Stephen, and you're talking about compensation. When you do get paid, are you getting paid in US dollars or Canadian dollars? Is it being converted to Canadian? Canadian. We get paid in Canadian, unless you have- you bought your business, right? You paid it in Canadian. Okay. Well, if you, yeah, if your business is in Canada, you join through Canada, it's in Canadian, but you can, and we were actually talking about this today because Bilaj switched all his businesses a few years ago to the US and that ends up being about a hundred dollars more a trifecta. And it, before that it was about $250 more a trifecta before the price went up, um, in Canada, but like that adds up, right. Um, there's a bit of a process to it, but it definitely can be done. And, and so we have the U.S. bank account already. Um, we were talking about getting a new LLC in the, or it's not an LLC there. Um, whatever the hell they call it. Is it an LLC? Yeah, an LLC. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's always an option. So the only thing when you do that is an adjunct charges you, I think, $50.00 for a name change. And I, I can't remember, Blog actually made me a list one day. I think you pay a fee as well to switch over into the United States, but it's minimal in the long term. Mm -hmm. with, but um, <clears throat> that's what our accountant recommended for us as well. He's like, if you can do it, do it. I was like, mm -hmm. okay, well, you'd be losing our business basically for a portion, but yeah. So in that case, you would be paying taxes in the United States too. You want to be sure you're not getting double taxed to Canada and the United States. Well, yeah, that's like you need to go about it the right way. There's sure. I have yeah. a number two, like a it's basically like an immigration lawyer helps you with the whole process because then you also have like rights of being able to be in the United States to do your business for however long you want. So just having the right people in place to do it. Cause yeah, like up until January 1st, you either got paid out $340 on a K8 one point or $340 US. And with the exchange rate. 30%. It's a 30 lot. Plus. Yeah, it's a lot. Man. Going yeah. through my taxes right now and seeing how much we paid for hotels and stuff like that, traveling through United States to get to the Baja. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> um, when you convert it over to Canadian, you're like, that's a lot more than I thought it was going to be, but oh well. It's money, money to write off, but whatever. <laughs> it's a lot more than I, I thought. But yeah. So what do you yeah, you guys think that's good? You think any extra slides? Um no. Yeah, I thought it was good just the way it is. Okay. 
Yeah, you want to keep you want to keep it short and sweet, like you said too. People's uh, attention spans aren't very long, so you, you want to try and keep it. Well, yeah. it opens up too for all of us to have like conversate a little. Well, not all of us. We'll kind of have it planned where there's, um, you know, anyone who wants to take part in kind of like co-hosting it, I think would be great. Just more people that we have just shows more of a community um, and that support and stuff like that. So I'm going to work a little bit further on, on this, but yeah, I would like to be able by, um, but like the beginning of March, like be able to run one through, try to get as many people as we can on it, see what we can get, cut, like what results we get, what then we can figure out what do we need to tweak, right? And if it worked perfectly, then um, but then lining up doing it again and again and again. Yeah, no, I like this idea. I've been I've been listening to Eric worry a lot about 90 day challenges. So this is very similar. It'd be a 30, 30 day challenge, right? Yeah. You know, you get a lot of hype and you just go from one to the next to the next to the next and keep the excitement going. And I think it uh, is a very powerful thing. Totally. And if people are coming off of the coming in from the first one, they now know like this is how I got brought in. So in 30 days from now, I can invite all these people in um, to another live one. So it keeps that momentum going as well. That, that, that's right. right. You're already you're hyping up the set, the next one before, you know, the first one's done. Right. Totally. And it's creating like an easy flow of duplication where, Hey, if I just get people to come to this, they can check it out and it's either for them or it's not right. At the end of the day, we're not here to sell anybody that's not here to be sold to. If they don't see it, they don't see it. But like, I think that's powerful enough information for anybody that does see it will join. We'll figure it. We'll figure out how to do it. So um cool yeah. mm -hmm. now can we can we bring people into this group right now before they yeah uh, purchase anything yeah like i have a i have a few people that are interested that i'm uh they're wanting to learn more about the business right so i think this would be a great opportunity to to be able to bring them in for something like this or into the group to do a little bit of training and and see if this is something that's for yeah, absolutely. Like get them in, direct them to the welcome post. Um, they'll see too when they come into the group. Part of the questionnaire now is guiding them to that welcome post where they can check out a series of videos. Um, but yeah, you can get them in there checking that out. Like absolutely leverage it. And um, then they're already inside of the group too. When we do this live presentation, let them know again, hey, I don't know if you've had a chance to check out all the videos or not. We're going to do a live presentation that's going to break all of it down. Um, we'll open up like a live Q&A on it. Um, you're going to hear from some of the people that have been in the business for a while, all of that kind of stuff. But yeah, absolutely. Bring anybody, anybody who's interested in the business. This is a tool for everybody on the team. It's a free group. There's no charge um like we want to keep it exclusive to our team right anyone who's yeah. really on our team like they have their own teams to do their stuff with but um yeah any anyone you have interested bring them in there's training Perfect. in there too if they want to um if they're interested in the business but maybe don't have the money to get started yet or just have to figure a few things out send them to the module where they can start building their business page they're getting their ads manager their business yeah. manager set up like get people doing things like all of that's in there. Like as long as they, then they're getting committed to it. They're building like a foundation and it's, they're moving towards something where if they don't have the funds up front at the moment and they're working towards it, they can still be participating in this. They can, they themselves can be inviting people into the group. Right. Well, it's just a great way to, to learn the product product as well. Right. And learn what it's all about. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Okay, great. Awesome. And if you got like, if there's stuff that you want to like bring to the group, like the more engagement we can get in there, um, the better. So, <laughs> you know, sharing, sharing stuff, posting in there, it'd be nice to see a bit more engagement wins, whatever. Um, any of that kind of stuff, just keeping that page as visible as possible for the, or the group as visible as possible for anyone that's in it, seeing that there's movement going on. Yeah. So. Mm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, any questions, like anything even not, 
not to do with the presentation. Anyone need help with anything while we're here? We still got some time. Well, Alvin really wants to get his business page set up, so I'm going to work with him here. So, um, you know, we'll we'll use the training, but you might need to pick your brain a little bit there. You're always really good at that stuff. So, but I'm going to I'm going to definitely get him, get him started here. Sounds good. And what page is it that I could be inviting people to to come look at? You know, people that want to know more. But I think I think if they got to see a pre even this yeah. tonight, it would really help a ton. We'll send you the link to the group and then basically you can just send that link to people that are interested. Like, I think I have quite a few people that would love to see something like this first and uh, it would help a ton. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's good just to come meet the, meet the community, meet everyone, right? Hang, hang out with all the people and uh, get some engagement. But yeah, I'll, I'll send you that link. Uh, it's just, it'll be the global freedom movement facebook page job and so you'll know, i'll give you that after, after the meeting here awesome yeah absolutely everyone's more than welcome to invite people that's what it's for so absolutely perfect. yeah and then if you I do just invited any... someone oh, there you go perfect yeah if you have any issues with your facebook page let it, let me know i'll help you with that it is relatively straightforward but it's also facebook and sometimes what's straightforward is not straightforward with facebook <laughs> um yeah awesome well i'd like to announce like a, a i guess a win for me which is i finally got over 100 followers on my facebook page awesome uh, Good congrats and my so my my hockey dad ad which has been up for i think maybe a week now um has brought in about half of that in the cool. past week nice yeah. so, nice brother um i'm at like one dollar and 15 cents per like on that page and there's been yeah just it's been pretty constant and it's really added to the following on my group and the likes on my page so awesome perfect do you is that also running as like a like an ad for the business or is that a likes campaign uh it's a likes campaign awesome well, that's good. Yeah. Getting people on your page, following your content. That's perfect. Yes. Well, yeah, Brent, Brent and Molly, that's all they, I don't know if it's still, but they ran likes campaigns forever and ever and ever. I think that's what they still do, right? Mm -hmm. That was the main thing that they did. 20 bucks a day likes campaigns and they didn't really run ads, like call oh, to action yeah. ads. They had a video oh. that was pinned to the top of their page of them traveling in their RV around Australia. Um, and if people like, you know, if they wanted to learn how to do it, to, how, to reach out to them or click on the link or whatever. But yeah, like they, they have like, a, I don't know, 150,000 followers now on Instagram, but um, yeah, their entire thing, I would, well, not entire, but like a good portion of it was just likes campaigns. Cause also when you're traveling around, it's hard to um, get back to so many people when they're messaging you uh, about ads is something I notice. It's you only really want to talk to the people that are super, super interested and next to the people that are, you you know, going to waste your time or might be too much work. But like good experience in the beginning, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good to learn how to talk to them and <laughs> smooth them and pick up on their pain points like I forget sometimes talking to regular people I was like oh yeah <laughs> you know and then I'll start digging on their pain point I'm like oops <laughs> it's supposed to be a regular conversation <laughs> awesome um who used that reel that I made the other day with the water anybody get oh, any yeah. feedback from it I saw Steve you got a ton of comments on it yeah I got over a thousand views nice yeah. that's awesome perfect how did you download it how did I My phone was being all weird. Uh, I just copy and paste it, I think. Oh, really? Okay. I sent you guys the, um, the original video. Yeah, I just yeah. Down downloaded it to my phone. That's right. And then I just put it onto my captions and and recaption it. And there you go. It showed, like, I, I'm not sure if it showed up blurry for you, but it seemed like it showed up a little bit blurry. Like, if, when you took the original one, um, 
I had to figure out like what would be a good way to send it. Cause even in the Google drive, then it reshaped it. So it wasn't like long, it was wide, which was weird. Mm. But, um, and, you can, and you can use that video and put like 50 different voices on there talking. Like you can change yeah. it up all the time, right? Like you can one- use it like every m- month. Well, that's the thing is like, I, it's hard to find a Mason jar here in Cabo San Lucas. Like that was, the thing was actually it's huge, but it looks good. Right. Cause you can see the high, the molecular hydrogen, but you can literally create that same, like a similar video over and over and over again. And you can add some different stuff, but I, like, I tried to pick like some of the most powerful um, benefits of the water. And then I was like, shit, I'm just going to share this with the team if they want to use it because this is pretty good. So, yeah, no, it was awesome. Actually, one thing dad and I were talking about, though, and I don't know if we can do it is maybe to slow it down because it you actually had to pause it or go back a few times because it was that's hard to- the thing, though, is you want them to. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't do th- like, I, I yeah, I. I can't read that fast either, but like, if you like watch a lot of Instagram stuff, they're so fast that they want you to watch it over and over again, because then it'll go out. They're like, it's that good. This person watched it five times. So right. It's actually tricking the algorithm. Yeah. Yeah. I Yeah. I don't read that fast either. (laughs) And and the thing is, I don't, here's the thing. So if I'm like watching a video like that and there's really good information, I'll screenshot it too. Right. Cause I'm too slow of a reader to read. (laughs) Yeah. There's a, there's a secret strategy behind that. Yeah. You can definitely slow it down too for, um, for the purposes of only having to watch it one time but yeah i know it tricks the the facebook algorithm to send it out to more people if somebody's watched it a couple times they're like oh that's a good video we'll send this out to more people yeah awesome i uh i got a pretty good win i'll have a new uh partner coming on next week uh power couple from bc awesome they're very health oriented they've already committed to the k8 they're just going to go over finances and see if they can do the trifecta over the weekend here awesome perfect so, pretty exciting they're uh yeah very health oriented and uh they work very well as a team so cool i'm into the meet everyone awesome i can't wait to meet them that sounds cool yeah and it's nice power couples are always good in bc that's where i'm from yeah for sure i think they're they're in a Soyuz. Oh, okay. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, I miss those areas. We're actually Just keep killing it, Steve. <laughs> You're they, killing uh, They reached out to me. They were looking at some other water systems and they reached out to me actually a couple of days ago. How I did said, well, I said, I, I'm not offering a water filter. I told them all about it. And they're like, well, okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll commit to the cage for sure. And I sent them a bunch of information on the shower and everything else. And they said, well, We'll look at that stuff over the weekend and let you know next week. Did they know They'll you? Be in. <laughs> yeah, I know them from way back when we lost contact and I haven't really stayed in touch much over the last five years, probably. Okay. But they've been following me on, on my business page. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Perfect. Huge congrats. Yeah. Thank you. Pretty Ooh. excited. Lindsay, you got any wins you want to share? Oh, wins. Mine's more like personal, working on Toastmasters. What about and your vacation you have planned? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 so if you guys look on my Facebook cover page, I did my vision board. And on there, there's a kangaroo and there's Bali. So I'm going away to Australia for a month and 10 days in Bali. That's so Sweet. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so uh, Bali was a nice surprise because my wife doesn't want to actually go to Australia. So she's like, well, I'll go to Bali. I'm like, okay, well, I'll meet you there. Well, I'll go too. When are you guys going? (laughs) We're we're going to go um, uh, April 3rd to the 14th. We'll be in Bali. I remember when we were at the Cabo Mm -hmm. event and we got Marta for free on the Wild Canyon excursion. She said, I owe you big time. So I'll be picking <laughs> my bags. <laughs> yeah, go. I owe you fun. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah I'm super That's excited because cool. they have uh, a monkey temple. Yeah. And then I don't know if you've ever seen it, but if you've ever seen on Instagram, 
they have this swing that yeah. you just swing out to like nowhere and like so many people do it so I'm definitely gonna be going there and yeah. then they have a uh, elephant bass but I don't know if my kids are old enough for that so we'll see but that would be pretty cool That'll and be I'm gonna be traveling solo with two young ones so yeah we'll see. Uh, I have to do like that. five flights by myself You'll make it. It'll be a story. Yeah. Video yeah. it. So we can <laughs> yeah, I'm going to document it for sure. <laughs> How many hours? As they run travel? wild in the airport, like all delirious and jet lag. <laughs> um, flying from Cabo San Lucas to Tijuana, or actually yeah. Yeah, on the way back actually was worse. Yeah, I don't think I could have done that. And listen, that's a, what, a two hour flight? Not even. Mm -hmm. I think it's an hour and 50 minutes. But my son, it was awful he did not want to be on the plane he was done he was like I'm staying at Disneyland I don't want to go back to Mexico he didn't want to go on the plane I was like oh he wanted off I'm like you can't get off um, well I do plan to give him a little gravel on the yeah way I probably should that, because yeah. it's like 11 o'clock or midnight when we actually leave so oh. just to help him sleep majority of the time well, yeah, you guys will have an amazing time and lots of stories to share. So that's awesome. Yeah. I'll probably be blasting it all over Facebook and stuff. Perfect. Yeah. Anything yeah. else anyone wants to share? Nothing to share, but I wanted to ask you, Andrea, what's the drive like from Tijuana all the way down to Baja? I've, I've crossed over Tijuana a couple of times and just went south or a little ways. I haven't gone all the way, but I've often thought I'd like to. Yeah, well, we did it with the kids and the cat, and uh, it's cool. Like, we were thinking of driving back to Canada at the uh, maybe at the end of May because we want to get our residency. So, we're going to do it again. Like, it's how far have you gone down from Tijuana, like Ensenada area? Yes, Ensenada, exactly. Oh, okay, perfect. Um, so, we stayed about two hours out of Ensenada. Chris's uncle actually lives out there, it's like a dirt town, but. <laughs> Um, right after there, um, you hit like this uh, cactus uh, forest. And so from there, you have about four hours of no cell service or no gas stations, no food. Um, uh, everybody got sick, <laughs> pretty much throwing up. I don't, it was just like a bad day, bad day for that. But um, other than that, it's fine. Like, uh, that's the only kind of like sketchy part there. You just want to make sure you have enough gas. There are, you do see some people on the sides of the roads that have barrels that will fill you up a little bit. It's a little sketchy. I don't know if it's real gas or what. So, um, but it's cool. Like we stayed in Loretto. Loretto was amazing. Um, it's just kind of, it kind of becomes a little bit of a blur because it's, there's not a lot through the Baja, we were driving with two kids and cats, but if you can stop at a lot of places, like take side roads and stuff, um, there's a lot of cool places to stop at. We were just kind of wanting to get to Cabo at that point. So really that's about a two day drive? Or um, for us, it was a day and a half. So the first day we stopped two hours out of Ensenada. So that was uh what about four hours past the Tijuana border and then we went from Tijuana to Loretto and that was like a 13 hour day and then from Loretto to Cabo San Lucas I think was 10 hours oh, not even long drives. maybe nine hours yeah because like the whole trip through the United States we only drove like four hours with the kids and the cat um and then we would stop and then sometimes we'd stop for a few days go look around and stuff but um yeah, it was, you know, we don't speak Spanish very well. And uh, the, all the, <laughs> all those areas in between, there's no fast food or anything like that. So it's kind of, well, obviously. Um, Pointing. Yeah, like you, it, you just kind of want to drive to where you're going to. But mm -hmm. now that we're here, we've gone to lots of places and the Baja is amazing. It's beautiful, beautiful people. They're all so nice. Like um, Mexico gets a lot of like a bad rep, you know, that's not safe or or what I feel probably a lot more safer here than I do in Canada or the United States. So yeah, I would take the trip, go to Cerritos beach though. When you get down here, it's amazing. It's my favorite beach. Oh, nice. Yeah. 
I'll see you. I'll see you here soon. I'm sure. Yep. We'll have a big event. We've only been there once. Stopped to, with a cruise ship for a day, so that was it. <laughs> oh, okay, but, the cruise yep. ships are here every day right now, and yeah. one of those cruise ships brought norovirus, and that it was yeah. what we've had the last week. I don't know if you guys remember the last meeting. My son got sick, and then the next day my daughter got sick, and then Chris got sick, and then I got sick. And then we found out that one of the kids at my kids parkour training had norovirus. And uh, so we had norovirus. Hmm. And uh, yeah. Never heard of it. What's a new one to me? Norovirus? Norovirus. I don't know. Apparently it's really common on the cruise ships. Like people, I don't know. But like Hmm. we're in a cruise ship area. But yeah. yeah, it's like, you know, the fun stuff, barfing and all of those kind of cool things. And it's not Mexico if you don't get sick every once in a while. So that's true. Yeah. I think I'm going to sign up because I've been on Zooming all day. I haven't eaten yet. Supper's ready. <laughs> okay, go eat. We're done. Now that I've probably ruined your meal. But <laughs> thank you. Thank you all. It's nice to see you all. And, uh, We'll see you guys next Wednesday. We'll go a little bit further into this um, live presentation. Maybe we'll pick a date and we'll chat more about um, really just like hyping it up, like on your pages to invite people and all that kind of stuff. So we'll go over different strategies like that to get people lined up to be part of this live presentation. But in the meantime, bring as many people as you want inside of the group. You guys have an amazing night and we'll see you next week. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Have a good night, everyone.